easy, fellow geeks. Let's open a beverage of your choice. Because today, I got an eBay package. And it got here really quick. Um, it's actually a bigger package, a bigger book than one that I'd ordered like a day earlier from someone else or you know, something. And it, they must have sent it a higher priority than someone else because it got here quick. So let me. Stop cutting towards myself with these things. Let me open this bad boy up for you. I knew it was going to come today. It's just, uh, it was in town. I think it got in town Wednesday night, but it wasn't going to get delivered Thursday because Thursday being the 4th of July here in the States, Independence Day. It, they don't deliver, so it's been out for delivery all day. And yes, ah, yes. So I got this for a nice, good price. I'm surprised. And they must be using. Uh, reusing uh, packages from in stock trades because this is just top of box it's got to be you know that's how good and it's packaged really well open this bad boy up ooh do I have both of these Wow, I got, uh, okay, so this was, this was, uh, this is not a hardback, that's probably why it was a little cheaper, but still, Vamprella, the Dynamite Years, number one omnibus, and this came with it. Uh, I didn't order this, but it came with it. So uh, let me. So here's the front. Really nice cover art. Boom. Boom. Uh, let's see. There are few characters in comics that uh, have as rich a history as Vamprella. Over the years, the girl from Draculon has been. Everything from a magician's assistant to humanity's savior and everything in between, all while being written and drawn by some of the industry's most legendary talents. The Prola first appeared in 1969. <laughs> Me too! Um, at Warren Publishing, making her way to Harris Publication in 1983 with all of these stories collected many times over. In 2010, she found her new home at Dynamite, and a new adventure began. Collected in this book are the very best stories from her time at Dynamite, so far cataloging another chapter for the legendary vampire fiction Vamprella. This volume collects Vamprella, 2011 through 2012, written by Eric Troutman, Brandon Jerwa, Mark Renner, along with a complete cover gallery featured art by Alex J. Alex Ross, J. Scott Campbell, Joe Jusco, Paul Ronald, Sean Chen, Fabian Nevis, Stephen Segovia, and more. So, there's that. And we have uh, Dynamite Years on me, of us right there. Uh, got Creative Team, and then 
those. Oh, quantum. This is index uh, of different stories. Then in issue one cover by J. Scott Campbell, which is seems to be the one that's on the cover, and then it just jumps right into it. So, and we have some really kind of good art. really looking forward to doing some reading on this and this they threw this in here with a because I didn't order it but that's okay uh, boom 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 it's a uh, Vamprella Christopher Priest and Eric no Ergon okay however you pronounce that guy's name uh, volume 1, Seduction of the Innocent. Shocks, horror, the undead, humor, thrills, and one heck of a mystery. I'll gladly empty my wallet for more of an umbrella like this. Highest possible recommendation by Sci-Fi Pulse. Celebrating the Daughter of Darkness's historic 50th anniversary, Dynamite has assembled an all-star crew to put together the most captivating take on Vamprella ever. It's on legendary writer Christopher Priest, Black Panther, Deathstroke, and Turkish talent. Yeah, well, however you pronounce that. On this next Netflix-inspired tale, both serving as a perfect jumping on point and uh, subtly incorporating characters and Easter eggs from throughout Vampirella's five glorious decades. Nuns with guns, scandalous love triangles, psychotherapy, and every classic villain teaming up against our heroine. And at the center, and it all centers around a mysterious, tragic plane crash. Okay, I actually have, uh, okay, I have the first few issues of that in floppies. Collecting Vampirella, 2019, 1 through 6, and the free comic book day 0, plus an, an expansive cover gallery featuring the likes of Art German, Alex Ross, Adam Hughes, J. Scott Campbell, Frank Cho. Wow, that's some pretty cool people. Joe Jusco, Lucio Prelo, Derek Chu, Joshua Middleton, Terry Dodson, and countless more. So yeah, this is just, uh, this is the beginning of the priest run. I think I actually read this uh, when it came out back in the day. Uh, so yeah, uh, nice little addition to it. Bam, check it out. This is gonna rock. All right, let me know what you think. Oh, it's from Dynamite Publishing. Uh, cover price is, I think it's $39.99 and I paid less for it than that. All right, boom. Let me know what you think, if you uh, are a fan of Vamprella, I just happen to want to pick it up and get it. But uh, let, let me know, and uh, like, subscribe, most of all, enjoy your vampire comics.